Hello, and welcome to the very final game from the Bossa Studio Stroke Ashen's Game Jam, Game of the Year, if deleted still true, and its truth will ring throughout eternity. Basically, this is a game where you wash naked YouTubers, and then dry them, and then clothe them. I am not making this up. This is a real thing. You can download it and play it. Um, the first question you will ask, of course, is why is it called Game of the Year? Well, I just told you the idea. How could that not be Game of the Year? The next question you will ask is, of course, who made this? And the game provides us with an answer if we click on this. Click. It's Oliver, age 24. Let's have a look inside his mind. <sighs> Basically, he's an artist who draws real good, obviously, but also I think this is the perfect mix of awkwardness and bizarreness that makes up his sense of humour. At least, I really hope this is a joke, because if not, I'm very worried. And it was programmed by Andrew Chung with some help from Sylvain Gondel on there. And of course, powered by unity and perversion, the greatest mix in the history of the world. The next question is, of course, why? Well, Shrock here, original character, do not steal, says... I made this for you, donkey! Well, that's answered any questions I had and probably any questions you had about anything, so that's excellent. Right, time to play to game! Hooray! Right, the first thing you need to do is choose your dirty YouTuber. We're all so dirty. There's me, of course, with my fantastic uh, promo picture I'd taken outside some council bins. There's good old Jaunty Picking, Mr. Weeble. He is a top man and for some reason didn't mind being drawn naked in the game. There's Dan Hadcastle. Or even Dan Hardcastle, possibly. Dan had a castle. You heard that gossip here first. Um, Dan Nerd Cubed, who again agreed to be washed naked in the shower because I don't know. Here's Dan Bull, because we already had somebody called Dan and we didn't want him to feel lonely. Uh, he is a rapper and again, somebody who agreed to be in this game. Because we haven't had enough Dans yet, here's Dan Tomlinson, aka Lousy Panda, the animator and uh, person who appears in my videos sometime. Looking very coy there. Here's Emma Blackery, who again agreed to be in it for reasons I have no understanding of. And unbelievably, Felix, aka PewDiePie, agreed to be in it as well, because apparently when you go on Twitter and ask the most popular YouTuber in the world, would you like to be in a game where we can wash you? The answer is always yes. You can't argue with that. And here's Neef. I believe he is the man who did the rather funky music you can hear now. And of course, Oliver and Chung himself are all available to play in it. Such is this bizarre world we live in. So who do we wash first? Hmm. Hmm. I'm going to go for... Dan Bull! Hooray! Here he is, in all his uh, incredibly blinged up glory, because he is of course a rapper. He is currently covered in Noughts and Crosses games, which somebody hasn't bothered to play. That's very rude to do that to somebody and then not bother filling them in. Also, you will notice that his entire pubic area is a sort of weird Minecraft dirt block that constantly changes. I think that is how it should be. Right, first things first, turn the shower on. Excellent. Now let's soap him up good. Oh yeah, here we go wash off those dirty hashtags mm, away they go perhaps they're sharp signs ah you see he's been drawing um music on himself to remember for later but unfortunately he only got as far as saying uh, sharp notes perhaps he's got some quavers under that dirt block we may never know and blimey take some soaping doesn't he filthy filthy youtubers and there we are let's turn the mute sir uh, and say turn the music off there that wouldn't be a good idea let's turn the water off and wipe him with this fantastic towel ah oh, yes this brings back so many memories of uh, all the other white wrappers i have uh, toweled off over the years can't seem to get that bit of water off his head that's really annoying ah oh, here we go yay get them suds off and here we go here he is in all his glory with rings in his fingers and bells on his toes. There's also an excellent hairdryer, but that doesn't actually seem to do anything other than look a bit like a gun. Right, now Dan is perfect. Let's get him dressed. And what do we have here? Um, devil horns? No, it doesn't quite fit. Uh, cap be the propeller on it? No. Oh, an eye patch. Yep, definitely needs an eye patch to look more dangerous. Uh, and this jolly fedora type thing, that's good. Uh, he can cover up his nakedness with uh, this bra. Yeah, that fits quite well. Um, gonna need something on Dan below. Earth? Those weird anklets or something? I don't really understand what those are. Um, 
Garters? Yes, I think they are garters. Yep, that's clearly what he needs. Um, but he will hide them under this dress. He's not a rude man. Actually, it's not a dress of those trousers. I don't even know anymore. A um, pair of white gloves. Of course, he's a rapper. You need those. And a cutlass. Um, who knows what trouble you can get in. Oh, no. Has to go that way. Oh, no, I don't like it there. It's, it's obscuring the bra. And that is, of course, the real joy of it. Oh, and for footwear, when I say footwear, it appears to have one foot and one hand where a foot should be, you have merely socks. Fair enough. Well, that's absolutely beautiful. Click on that and you can see him in all his glory. That's fantastic. I'm sure he's very happy with that. Let's have a quick look at some other people, shall we? Here's Oliver himself. Oh my goodness. Going to take more than a hairdryer to sort that mess out, I think. Um, down here. I notice they've correctly got his superfluous third nipple in. You don't see that a lot on YouTube these days, but it's how he made his mark in the early days. Jonty, pleasingly, has Weeble tattooed across himself, <laughs> in case he forgets one of his names. It could happen. Here is, of course, me, looking absolutely beautiful, as I ever do. Dan, looking very similar to me, frankly, just slightly darker. Here's Emma. Oh, crikey, I forgot. Right, we'll quickly kick off Emma. I'll have to censor that, because YouTube, I think, is very funny about bubes. <laughs> Ah, here's Felix himself, PewDiePie. I tell you what, he does have infamously filthy knees. I think we should scrub them. Oh yeah, that's better. This is what needed to be doing. This is what's been missing from YouTube. Scrub those filthy knees. Scrub, scrub, scrub the knees. Scrub the knees, scrub the knees, scrub the knees, scrub the knees! Okay, I'll stop that now. And who else do we have? Here's Neef. Oh man, he's he looks a bit confused. He looks like he's just been punched, poor fella. He was a little void for some reason. And here is Chung, who's standing in the shower looking slightly perturbed, which frankly is a feeling I think all of us are going through at the moment. So there we are. That is Game of the Year, if deleted, still true. And will certainly, in fact, I would have said absolutely prove that despite what people say, Bossa Studios do not make YouTube bait. Well, I suppose we'd better give him a chance to explain himself. Here is Oliver, age 24, answering my hard-hitting questions. So, Oliver, for your terrifying so-called washing game, which has now spread way beyond into the whole world of YouTube, mm -hmm. I have three questions for you. Okay. One, if it's made into a full game, how will you celebrate? How would I celebrate? Mm. Wow. i try and get it played in, like, a massive... Um, theatre, or a big screen in the cinema. A giant, the IMAX. naked IMAX actions. What more could anybody ask for? That would be amazing. Pretty much anything else, probably. Question number two. If it's not made into a game, how will you commiserate? Uh, same. <laughs> this is the plan. Privately, We're going to stick to it. the only one in the cinema. <laughs> Weeping into some popcorn. Mm. <laughs> and finally, why should your game be made into a full thing? Why not? And so ends the Ashen Stroke Bossa Studios Game Jam. If you have any thoughts on this game or any of the others you would like to fire over to us, by all means, email them to ashens at appraiser.net. And if you haven't worked it out by now, you can download all of them and try them for yourself at this web address. It's in the description as well. If you click on it, you can go there. We live in the future. So... All that remains is for me to thank Bossa Studios to a huge extent, and if you have any interest in these games whatsoever and would like to play something more fleshed out from them, I would personally recommend their latest game, I Am Bread, in which you literally play a slice of bread which crawls around a kitchen trying to get itself toasted. And not necessarily by a toaster, you can even stick it in front of a hairdryer if you like. It's pretty bloody great. Also immensely frustrating, but pretty bloody great. Um, I'll stick another link in the description below, but seriously, just Google I am bread. There's not a whole lot of other sites it'll take you to, I wouldn't have thought. And that's the end of the game jam. And as is customary, here are my final thoughts. Uh, my personal favourite is the knockoff simulator, I think. I like the way you can panic and fluster and stick things onto a fake phone and then get the whole thing paraded in front of you at the end. Just imagine a fleshed out version of that, except when they're on the conveyor belt, you can press a button and get it sent down to the uh, sofa review simulator and actually review what you've got going on there. Maybe if it goes down particularly well, Chef Excellence could endorse it. 
in an ideal world. And if I had to design my own game, which people have asked, I would have like a... Um, yes. How about a YouTube channel simulator where you have to like micromanage uh, a YouTube channel and, you know, people say, oh, I want to see you review dodgy food. So you get people to do dodgy food. But then one of your presenters gets ill from the dodgy food. So you have to swap that. I don't know. This is why I don't design games. Anyway, I'm off to try and convince Cirque du Soleil to do a show entirely about the Silver Skull. Bye.